We've been at this farm since 2007. I wanted to find something that I could do more independently. And I really like the sheet, like I like the animal. I got some inspiration from, you know, people in the UK. And then I went down to North Carolina and looked at it down there to see if it would work. And uh, I went to a Sunraised Farms training and I was like, oh, this obviously works. It's a nice break in terms of disease cycles for the sheep. It's good to get them to, I consider that fresh pasture. No one's grazed the site at Millard Hill in 50, 100 years. So I'm excited for the sheep to go somewhere I know is really clean and I know that we'll be able to start out. And if I'm gonna do this year after year, I can take care of the site and move them around and, and have healthy animals. Most of us who have to like move our sheep and rotationally graze them around, you're constantly trying to find shade for them and windbreaks. The solar, so much better. There's so much less stress. I've been working in our community to support renewable energy for like 10 years. So I was like, oh, well this would be a really cool idea. And I'd sold the nursery business and I wanted to keep farming. It's fun and satisfying to watch your animals. Like if you're already interested in like good management of your animals and regenerative agriculture and like best practices around that, solar grazing is, falls right in line with all that. I started realizing when I started reading about solar grazing and talking to people that other than these like select instances of the solar grazers in other countries and a little bit in the south no one was talking to each other and then when I started talking to a few solar developers and actually they were more like industry advocates things were all over the map in terms of response it was clear that they just needed to be like a solid knowledge base and maybe some standard set. And so my goal starting out was not to form an association, but it was clear to me when I started doing some outreach and being like trying to find a next amp that I, it was going to take many years or I better start an association where farmers could talk to each other. Because this seemed like it was such a good deal for farmers. But it's really relationship building, right. which is why I'm glad you're here. This is perfect because I can scale up my business in this way and see the opportunity. So like all things, the people who want to see the opportunity are going for it.